I'm gonna take a record of this. Hey. <laughs> and uh, and I got sort of the base shape behind each one, so like the cylinders and you know sphere segments and everything laid on, laid on, mm. um, and then basically reattached it to that shape. Um, and then we're gonna take it into uh, our actual CAD package mm-hmm. and uh, sort of like shave them off. So that you have a right. solid that's shaped to the actual geometry. The actual contour, that you yeah. Just kind of, you know, pop it in place. Uh, let's do this. Yes. Oh, I see what There we go. Um, which one's this? So, like, this is that, uh, Yeah, so like that top pattern. Cool. Right. Um, so this is the shape of like the cone that, you know, uh, you know, the very top of the crown. Yeah. Um, that's the shape of the cone. Um, <clears throat> then I reattach this to it so it's all. Now that's the scan, right? That's right. Just, yeah. And, and so then what we're going to do is bring clean it to the thing and shave it off from this shape so you have that uh-huh. back contour and then give you some hard edges on the uh-huh. sides. Right. So clean they it fit up. together yeah. all the way around. Yeah. Um, let's see. You know, and a lot of it was repeating, so it was the same general concept. Same thing with these guys. Yeah. Uh, what we can do is just take this base shape and uh, use it as like a cutting tool, you know, uh, to get these things off. And you can just position them where you need them. Cool. Uh, the hardest one was those, uh, I've been calling them cherubs, but I don't think they're actually cherubs. Uh, these guys. Oh, yeah. Because there's, there's like, there wasn't a single one on the harp that was still intact. You know what I mean? Oh, really? So, so you, like, like the wings came from one part. You uh-huh. know, each arm came from another part and all that So you had to stuff. piece them together pretty yeah. much. Yeah. How about the main figurine? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. What's that called? A heavy file. Oh, cool! Yeah. Wow. No, I think I still need to go in and take the. No, that's tools. that's the raw scan, right? Uh, uh well, we read these did... together. Uh, like put the arms back on there, uh-huh. and uh, I think we have it. We might need, still need to do it, but have this back here matched to the uh, contour. Uh-huh. Yeah, the inside there. I don't think we've done it yet. Oh. Um, but that's really like a five minute operation. Um, but I don't think I have, I need to write that down. I don't think I have the most recent version of the angels on the top there. That should be fairly straightforward. Yeah, and like you get a lot of like, like this stuff here where it looks real rough. Uh-huh. The thing is the printer's not gonna be able to print that. Right. Yeah. And so these surfaces, you know, I mean you're looking at like microns there, really. Uh-huh. And so when the, it comes out of the actual printer, they'll be fairly smooth. I'll probably like, smooth them out a little bit more in here too. Um let's see. And and the thing about this also is that we're Oh no, 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 no. That's taken care of. Um, there's some other good ones. Oh, the Griffins. Yeah, some of these files are big. Like that scan data, we just, uh, we did, somebody made like a Mount Rushmore. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. yeah. That was like, I think 1.6 gigs, the scan of it. Goodness. Is, yeah. Because just basic... Two-dimensional vector files are really light, oh, yeah, but 3D no. files are pretty mm-hmm. heavy. Huh? Especially on something like that, all that rocky 
mm -hmm. uh, texture. So we got these guys. This, um, what I did was I took the scan, uh -huh. right, and uh, got the general shape of the base in that area. Like it even has that, uh, that ridge on it. And I made this uh, solid here, which we, you know, doing the same general idea. Like uh -huh. those cones and cylinders, we're going to use that to cut out the back of it. And then you're just going to have the whole top half uh, that you can just put in place and glue. Because the bottom is actually intact on both of those. Yeah. And it looks like they're two separate pieces right here, uh, like uh, above the legs. So we're just going to chop it there and then chop it on the back. And you'll be able to just <laughs> apply it. That's great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, So this the same thing with that top pattern. Yeah, so it just it's a pattern. Shave it off, and then we're gonna uh, give you hard edges so that you can fit them around. Uh -huh. and, uh, my thought was that if we do it instead of making like one whole piece on the round stuff that you can just put you know one piece on and glue, um, it might be easier to make like segments like that so that each piece doesn't or so that you don't have one piece that has to perfectly match the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Give you a little bit of wiggle room. No. I mean, I yeah, I can do some fitting too. I'm pretty skilled at that. <laughs> The same thing with those little flowers. They're all over the place. And those will be like individual. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with like those. Uh, I've been calling them fountains, but where it has like the leaves kind of right. coming up. Uh -huh. um, it'll be yeah, just individual flowers that you can put wherever they need to go. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. So like I said, all you have to do now is just cut them off of the base shapes and, uh, and print them. They should be ready to go. That's awesome. Wow. Um, do y'all have like when it's ready to go you'll have the material you know like this is gonna i'm probably gonna gold leaf a lot of it so it's gonna take have to take some kind of size or something uh coating or oh what how do you mean like 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 a material thing? that'll take a coating oh oh of. yeah 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 um most most of what we have is is a uh, paintable glueable all kind of, you know we do all kinds of post processing um, and I can actually show you some examples of what we're going to use. That'd be great. Uh, yeah. Up front here, uh, if you want to take a look. Yeah. 